ten minutes. Saturday morning, I mean, you have to get up and shower and shave on a Saturday. I mean, that, that shows dedication. We appreciate you coming out for Felicia uh, this morning. Let me just spend a couple of seconds telling you how I first encountered, encountered Felicia. Uh, the primary started, and both Vince and David are good friends of mine, and I said, I'm going to stay hands off of this election because I just don't want to get involved in an election that, that consists of my friends. And I didn't know Felicia at the time. But then I started getting calls, not only Felicia, but I think about a dozen to 15 calls from my friends throughout the community, you know, Republican, Democrat, people in the business community, and said, Jim, you better take a hard look at Felicia. This is a winner. And I know that the number one issue in her campaign is her prosecutorial experience, but folks, we need a winner. We need a winner. And I'm not talking Democrat, Republican, I'm talking about our issues. Uh, that's why a lot of Republicans are jumping on board and independents, you know, with Felicia. You know, if you're concerned about jobs, if you're concerned about education, and above all, if you're concerned about a prosecutor that doesn't use his office for political advancement or punishing his enemies, then we've got to win. We've got to win. Now, I know all of you are probably going through a little fatigue right now. You get calls by all the candidates asking for contributions, asking for support, and there's dozens of people that we want to support, that we want to see win. But like all of you, sometimes I need to draw the line in terms of who I'm going to support because there's limited resources and limited time. Let's support Felicia. You know, for all the reasons, you know, that we're here today. We've got to jump on board. She's doing her part. She joked to me right before the introduction. He says, she said, Jim, I'm getting, I'm succeeding in getting one good night's sleep a week. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the reality of campaigning. You go 24-7, you don't take no for an answer, you get out there and run, and you figure out how to win. That's Felicia. So she's doing her job. Now we have to get together and do our job. What can we do? Well, we can support we can put in time, but Felicia needs money. Whoever wins a Republican primary is going to be able to outspend her. We know that. And I'll tell you what I'm going to do. You know, I've been a little bit lazy in terms of my obligations. I've maxed out, but I'm going to find four other people to max out this week, before Friday. Now, 400 bucks is a lot of money, but if it's $50, if it's, if it's $100, it all counts. And that's what we have to do to do our part to get Felicia elected. And if we do, this campaign, particularly in the general, is going to coalesce not only Democrats, but Republicans and Independents, particularly if Mr. Thomas is the nominee. And it looks like it will be. So folks, again, let's do our part. And it gives me a great deal of pleasure to introduce a person that's my friend, that's going to win in September and November, and be our next Attorney General. Felicia Rodolini. Thanks. Well, I have to tell you, thank you, Jim. Uh, and it's a, I'm a little nervous. Uh, Jim is an amazing man to me, and he's a hero to me. And over the years, I watched him and what he's done for the party and his generosity and his heart and how I when I came to Arizona in 1986 there was hardly any Democrats on the ballot and it was through his leadership that we have people on the ballot and he invigorated the party so for you to be here for me is extremely humbling and um, I'm honored so thank you very very much to see you uh, running our state one of these days. <laughs> <laughs> he, he is. He's doing that already. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. I know. 
Well, I just want to take a couple minutes to tell all of you thank you. Uh, I look around the room and I see all this support and these great smiles and dedication and loyalty. And I got to tell you, I am dedicated and I am loyal to all of you here in this room and to turning the state of Arizona around and making sure that the Attorney General's office stays in the hands of a prosecutor and someone who's going to protect and serve and keep politics out of the Attorney General's office. Yes. And that's what I'm mission because we can't uh, not allow uh, either one of the Republicans to get in that job. Uh, the Attorney General's office has the ability to impact our lives in a positive way or a negative way every day. Special interest groups, they have their lobbyists, they have their lawyers, that's great. But the everyday working men and women of Arizona have the Attorney General's office as their voice as their advocate, and that's why I'm running. It's my passion. It's what I've done for the last 17 years. You guys know what I've done, and here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep Arizonans safe on the streets, in their homes, and in their dealings, not just with business, but with government, too. And I'm going to make sure. Thank you. And Arizonans want someone in the Attorney General's office that will protect them and that they can feel good about that everyday decisions in that office are being made in their best interest. That's why I'm running. For the last 17 years, the decisions I've made on behalf of Arizonans have been what is in their best interest. That's the duty and responsibility of the Attorney General, and that will be my duty and responsibility, and that will be the tone that's set from the top to all of the Assistant Attorney Generals. So I'm here to thank you for your help. We have two big battles on our hands. I've never backed down from any legal battle, and I won't back down from this battle, because we have to keep the Attorney General's office in the hands of the Democrats. It is apocalyptic if we don't. And so let's work at it, and um, we're doing this together. I have a great staff, Dave and Chip and Joanna, Carolyn, Steve Brittle. I want to just thank all of you for all the work that you're doing, and uh, we are here today to do phone banking, uh, to do volunteer work. Uh, sign, there are sign-up sheets. And I just want to say that uh, I will be at this 24-7 to get elected. And then as your attorney, I will be your attorney 24-7 to keep you safe and to keep Arizona in the right direction. So thank you very much. And yeah. let's go.